So you finally got her. You got one of the most overpowered characters in Genshin Impact. That is right in Shogun. Uh, yeah, I'm not referring to getting constellations. You don't have to get a five star weapon. You're perfectly fine without getting any constellations, without any five star weapon. Okay, we're looking at. Inactivity serves no purpose whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, fine. Okay, great. Like, I'm, I'm just making intros. If you are a beginner, I made this video just for you guys. You will know very small detailed things that you have to know as a beginner to get started with Raiden Shogun. But hmm, there are lots of things that I left out on purpose in that video. So in this video, I'm going to go over those details which is gonna make your characters do so much more damage than they were doing before and we're gonna focus on just one thing okay and that one thing is gonna be energy recharge how the heck do you go and take advantage of this number to do a lot of damage in genshin impact i want to show you a couple of things do you know that she has a talent of generating energy from this stuff this one miso ishin whatever it is like yeah there you are ready for reconnaissance uh, what's reconnaissance i don't know that word oh yeah there she is I hear you've got a job for me. Yeah, we gotta hunt a bird. What shall we do? Um, you gotta you gotta protect the ladies. Inactivity serves no purpose whatsoever. <laughs> Come on, I'm just I'm just changing characters. Like what do you mean? 300.8% energy recharge. As a normal person, uh it, it's a lot of energy. She she's so short, like come on, like stand stand straight. You're distracting me. What I want to show you is like, let me just use her burst. Use her burst, this guy's burst, okay? None of these characters, I'm talking about Eula, I'm talking about Rosaria, have any energy. And the difference between all of these characters are, this guy has 40 energy cost, Rosaria has 60 energy cost of the burst, and she has 80 energy cost of the burst. Come on, wakey wakey, burst. This is just... I haven't done her e-skill, so we're not getting any particles. Okay. So we finished her burst duration. The amount of energy Eula got is like about 25%, 30%. Rosaria got less than just less than half. This dude got over the half. Okay, like it's like 70% energy just because Raiden Shogun did her burst or something like that. You may be thinking what's having 300 energy has to do with this. Well, we don't have any energy recharge. Mr. Bird, we're using you as a guinea pig today. I hope you don't mind. Okay, so no energy recharge. Oh, dang it. Are we hitting? Yeah, we're hitting. We barely got any energy on these characters. Yeah, like that was that was perfectly timed. This helps you understand what Raiden Shogun does if she has energy recharge. I talked about in previous video how you go and build Raiden Shogun, especially for beginners, right? I told you that you go and have energy recharge sans with attack or crit weapon. If you're using something like an energy recharge weapon, let's say the catch, then you go and have an attack sand. So depending upon who you are, which characters you will go and play with, which teams you're gonna go and make, let's say, so for example, Ryan, Sh Ryan National Team, maybe something like an aggravate team with Ryan Shogun. Depending upon what you go and do, you may wanna have something like an energy recharge weapon with energy recharge sands, or you may wanna just stick with the good old attack weapon and energy recharge sands or like the opposite of that but i do want to show you the difference between 61 143 to 60 energy recharge let's go 66,000. all right now we're gonna give her attack sands then it's burst try and show you the skill burst 72,000, 73,000. that's the number let's just leave <laughs> Okay, she's she's pretty tough. 66,000, 72,000. I know the number is kind of huge, but the difference is 10%. Where you lose in damage in your Raiden right Shogun, you gain damage in your other characters. So what do you do next? Energy recharge sense with energy recharge weapon. What next now? If you have R5 catch versus Sp Skyward Sp They do the same damage. <laughs> So, where do we go from here? Well, let's just start with Ryan National Team because again, this, this is the most, I'll say, beginner friendly team. You can actually go and make this team, okay? And it's not gonna take you five years. So, Bennett. Gonna be epic. Maybe. May knowledge guide you. Dude, you just said the most perfect words. If you are someone who does not have, who does not have at least C4 Shangling, do not use energy recharge sands on your Raiden Shogun. If you are someone who does not have at least C1 Bennett with 
Aquila Favonia. If you have C6 Bennett or C5 Bennett, then maybe you can work with the Sapwood Blade, which is figure play craftable from Fo uh, Fontaine. No, no, no. So Meru, it's a fantastic sword for Bennett, the best free to play weapon for Bennett. But these weapons are exceptions. If you have them, fantastic, go use it. Again, my Bennett is C5. I didn't C6 him because Eula was mad at me. So Shangling, at least you want to have C4. And how do you want to build Shangling? Because we did talk about energy ish. Look at this weapon. You can decide to use either Dragon Spain or this weapon for this type of build, okay? 58, 183, 206 energy charge and you know 96 over here but again this weapon is going to give 120 later on so this is like a dps shangling that you want to go and have this is shing Cho. it's gonna be really hard for you to get c6 shing Cho, but you can make this team work without c6 shing Cho. how do you want to build your shing Cho if you have him c6 you go with crit weapon you do your best to do a lot of damage these two characters you got to pay attention to the world remains constant over the centuries. Shangling Goat. Ask her what's her favorite food is. All right, we can continue with this stuff. East Kalafra and Shogun. Bro, I'm so sorry I'm uh, I'm doing this to you, but again, I don't have a choice. Dang it. Shangling's burst. East Kalafra. Burst. 38,000. Oh, that didn't crit. 38,000 of Shangling's burst. All right. Can you see how broken that is? Like, that's actually kind of broken. E-skill. Shingcho's burst. Learn how to funnel the particles, okay? When you go and do e-skill of one character, take the particles with the other one. That's called funneling particles. Means doing Benis burst, I mean e-skill, and then take the particles for Changling. And you do that, you're not going to have any energy recharge issue, all right? So pay attention on that. This is like the usual Changling, all right? Like, there's nothing very special about it. 55, 135, 250 energy recharge with this weapon. 29,000 Shanglings burst. You see the damage difference is just so much. And this is with Bennett having, you know, a kill of Favonia. If he didn't have a kill of Favonia, the damage will be very different. If you want to increase the damage of these characters, you may want to reduce the damage of your Ryan Shogun to maybe get the most damage out of your Shangling and Shing Cho. Yeah, we're both going to be using these characters at C6. Less energy charge, more on crit rate, crit damage, more on attack or something like that. If you don't have this weapon for your Shing Cho, you can go and equip this one on him. If you do not have crit weapon, I'm talking about this one, then you can go and use something like Dragon Spit. I'm getting hungry and I gotta eat something. Oh, oh. Go bring some apples, Shangling. <laughs> All right, I, I need some I'll just go and grab myself another cup of coffee because that's gonna help me quite a bit. Oh, yep. No apple for me. She just ate one. <laughs> it's a new one. We got Farina with. I'll be using Yelan for this. Let's go get ourselves some answers. Oh yeah. How do you want to build each of these characters? Like it's gonna be very simple. I'll say like Yelan. You can. You don't really need a lot of energy recharge. Something like 160 is gonna be fine. Just give her crit, crit, crit damage. Make her do more damage with more damage dealing weapons. Something like Stringless. Same as with her. You don't have any reason to go and use something like energy recharge weapons on her. Go with damage dealing weapon. Have really low energy recharge. Like you're just okay with this, all right? Like just stay focus on the damage because Ryan Shogun with even, you know, just this much energy recharge, she can help them get enough particles, right? So let's just go inside the domain. The team does by far the highest damage when we actually go and look at the damage output of this team you know i hope in the future this team is going to be even more broken because we're getting a new healer and i really wish that i get that healer because that's going to change so much for me oh no 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 i did the wrong rotation dang it ow ow but i think we got the max fanfare yeah <laughs> let's retry <laughs> hp stuff yeah I'm sure you can see your skill. Farina's e skill. Um, do this. Burst. He ran away, okay? Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you so much for doing damage to my characters, okay? That's gonna help me get some fan first stacks. 81,000, and we got the max fan fair. Let's do some damage. Look at the damage done by Yilong. Like, we're doing so much damage. Kinda insane. We already got him down to half HP. Ouch. E skill. Burst. Again. No issue of energy recharge. We're just fine. Oh, he's skill. No issue of energy recharge. Why are you running away from me, bro? What did I do to you? I mean, we can go and increase the damage, but, you know, we, we can find a lot of things. What, what am I looking at? Yeah, just the face. <laughs> 
Okay, we can go and <laughs> increase the damage. Maybe if I had something like good attack stance with just a little bit more energy recharge, I would have used attack stance. And my artifacts seriously don't have any energy recharge. I mean, look at these artifacts. They, they, they're not right. They're not made for Raiden and Shogun. All right, so next team. Next team that we're going to look at. We're looking at the aggravate team next. I know most of you are not a huge fan of aggravate team, but for some reason, I love aggravate I've been team. waiting for you for ages. Why? The reason why I'm not a huge fan of actually using What's her name again? Yai Miko in this team is like, she just she just needs so much energy recharge. Sometimes she's going to be one of the most annoying characters to actually go and play with. So most of the time, just for the sake of me not getting frustrated over things, I'll just use Fischl over Yai Mika. What's her stats? 65, 147, 193 energy recharge because we are using her for burst support. Remember, if you don't know, doing Raiden Shogun's E skill will help you do more damage with your other characters, okay? Right? All right, again, characters HP. Do this. Everyone hold hands. Then it's burst. Look at that damage. A lot of damage done. Uh, he ran away. You don't get particles if you don't hit the enemy, so that, that's that's something that you have to pay attention on, okay? Let's go, let's go, let's go. He vanished burst. Amigo's burst. Ranchung is burst. I forgot to do E skill of, you know, Yai Miko or something like that. This team does pretty decent damage. It's up to you how you want to go and play with these characters. Go ahead and have fun in Genshin Impact. That's all I care about, okay? I hope I'm not forgetting something, you know, like... Because if I am forgetting something, it's, it's gonna suck.